was bitten by a dog uh, in uh, a couple of months ago in the middle of town. Um, the dog was being walked by a friend of the dog owner, but the, I reported it to police, and uh, the police went round to the dog owner, who accepted responsibility, and uh, the police gave my name uh, my name and address for the dog owner to contact me but I heard nothing and it turned out that the dog owner died a week after I was bitten oh dear. so um, which is why I didn't hear but um, I was just wondering as the when the police went round to the dog owner's house his daughter was there with him uh, can I make any claim um, to the daughter or to to the well, to the dog owner. Yep. Tell, tell me how bad your injuries were, Bridget. Um, well, I I had to go to my doctor surgery, and I had tetanus jab and antibiotics, and I had to have the wound dressed. There was blood drawn. There was uh, holes okay, so, in my leg. So, so how, how long were you, were you unable to walk for any period of time? Um, I was able. I was able to walk. And how long did you have dressings on it for? I mean, dressing just just is just a posh word for plaster, isn't it? <laughs> Um, for about a week. Okay, so it, overall, it's uh, with no disrespect to you, Bridget, and I understand why you're calling it a pretty minor dog bite. Um, well, it was very painful. Okay, so um, I, I think you'll probably get three or four hundred pounds compensation for this. That's that's what the injury sounds like it's worth to me. Um, th- there's a reason I'm saying that, which is which I'll come back to. Owners are not automatically liable for a bite by a dog. So an owner, even if they might be willing to pay voluntarily, can't be compelled to pay by the courts for dog bites. There are exceptions to that. The main exceptions are if the dog is one of uh, a few specified breeds. There are four of them. I forget what they are, but they're basically the killer breeds uh, that have been banned in the country. But was it just a normal dog? Um, yes, this was, um, I understand it was a, some kind of terrier. OK, well, unless it was one of the... Um, there are some terriers bred for fighting uh, which are banned, but assuming it's not one of those, that's not going to count. And the second situation is if the dog has a history of biting. So if the dog's bitten before, then the owner will normally be liable. If it was a first bite, the owner won't be liable. I so, see. so uh, the, the, But the best way to get money out of somebody from a dog bite to get compensation is if they have insurance uh, pet insurance, because pet insurance normally covers dog bites, even if there's no strict legal liability. So uh, what I would do is speak to the daughter. How long ago did this happen, did you say? Um, this was at the end of February. OK, so how long has it been? Two months. Um, yes. So po- possibly leave it just a little bit longer. I imagine the daughter's still grieving for her dad, but but that's a matter for you. Um, you get three years to bring this sort of claim anyway, three years from the date of the bite. Yes. Uh, and then write to the daughter and say, look, your dog beat me. Here's my GP records to prove it. Um, your dad admitted it. I'm, I'm really sorry. I appreciate it's uh, not ideal circumstances, but do you have pet insurance? Because I'm I'm going to be bringing a claim, and I'd rather liaise with the pet insurance than bring a claim against your dad's estate. Estate just means you know the money he's got left. Um, yeah. I say you've got three years. Sorry, you've actually only got a few months. So I'd do it sooner rather than later if there's an estate involved. That point just occurred to me because you don't want the estate to be wound up without putting your claim in. So um, yes, I'd, I'd I'd I'd. Um, look, Bridget, I, I, I can't tell you what to do. Um, it, it sounds like a relatively minor injury. It doesn't sound like it's a cast iron claim, unless you know the dog bit somebody before. The owner of the dog is no longer here. It's up to you whether you think it's something that's worth pursuing. Some people wouldn't. Some people would. But if you do want to pursue it, you need to get in touch with the daughter and uh, either see if she's got insurance or issue a claim. But you'll have to prove the dog's bitten someone before. And... If the owner's no longer alive, that might not be easy because the daughter might not even know or might not tell the truth.